Hello Virgo, welcome to your August tarot reading. I hope y'all are doing well. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo. If this one resonates, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Make sure you leave your comments. I always like to read y'all's comments. If not, check out your Rising or your uh, Moon or even your Mars sign. I was thinking about Mars. So check out your Mars sign as well. All right, let's see what's coming in for Virgo for August. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, we are doing it. <clears throat> I did go live earlier today. If you missed that stream, go check it out. It was fun. We did a tarot giveaway and uh, read the rest of the week in love. So check that out. All right, coming into the current moment, what do we got? We have the Six of Pentacles. There's your Earth energy. What's the influence or the challenge? The Six of Wands. Two sixes, so balance, Leo energy. What's on your mind, Virgo? <laughs> Could be a Leo with the King of Wands. Fire, Leo Sag Aries. What happened in your recent past? The Ace of Wands, more, more wands, more passion, more fire. What's the situation? It's you. So the main message in the foundation is the Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo. There you are, you're in your element, you're in the upright. I feel as though I don't, I'm not, well, let mom lay all the cards out and we'll clarify but i was gonna say i do not feel as though this is like ghosting withdrawal type energy i think you're trying to figure something out because that's what the hermit will do he's researching something but we'll see coming into the near future what will you experience more leo major for leo the strength card some of you could be leo virgo cusps how do you see yourself right now what are you up to the ace of swords so there's our second ace could be something new What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? The Page of Cups, something new. All right, it's like we're receiving these downloads before the cards even flip. What's going on in your emotions? Temperance, more Sagittarius energy, major for Sag. And what is your outcome? What do we got? The Five of Cups in reverse. Leaving the past in the past, getting over the past, it looks like. All right. Yeah, and I think that's why I feel um, this newer energy here as well. So no longer being bothered by the past or, you know, that five of cups in reverse can just be that energy of like, you know what, it didn't work out. I'm not going to cry over it. I'm going to move forward. So something to that effect. We'll see. All right. So Virgo for August, sun, moon, rising, Venus. So let's see what's up. All right, y'all. Sorry about all the background noise, the dogs, and hardwood floors. You know. If you have a dog or you have hardwood floors, you know what I'm talking about. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get y'all a good angle there. All right. Let's do it. All right. So it's all happening because of you. I like that you're in your element. It's because of the hermit. <clears throat> so for some of you, you did kind of just withdraw probably from someone. And listen, this doesn't have to be love. It could be a family, a friend, even a job. But if you look at the hermit, I mean, he's shining that lantern. He's trying to figure something out. Very slow energy because he's seeking wisdom in a particular area or on a certain person. We are getting a lot of wands and a, you know, a few of these aces. So passion and drive and an attraction if it's love. All right. And it's probably towards something new especially with that page of cups coming in from your environment some of you have a newer connection with a fire sign it looks like or if not i guarantee they have fire in their chart if this is hitting for love for y'all all right virgo let's do it let's check it out all right so coming in we do have the six of pentacles what is this about for <clears throat> virgo coming into the current moment six of pentacles what do we have ace of swords in reverse all right, what's this Ace of Swords in reverse? You've got Aquarius energy there and the Seven of Cups. So coming into the reading, were y'all connecting maybe with somebody who was giving to someone else and they weren't telling you? That Six of Pentacles could also be Virgo just saying, I'm seeking with the Hermit energy, that's y'all, something that's more balanced because I don't have clarity on a certain person or a situation, even love. But I don't know, that Ace of Swords in reverse, it just tells me it could be a lack of communication, a lack of clarity, but it's also a big fat lie. And especially with that seven of cups there, 
I feel like y'all are ghosting or somebody somebody is withdrawing because there's a lot of confusion with that seven of cups, but this can also be options that somebody maybe didn't tell you. Now, for some of y'all outside of love, this is the this is going on in the workplace. Somebody's like hiding something from you where you could potentially grow and have a lot of success or you're looking at opening up your options towards something that's more balanced that six of pentacles is i work 40 hours a week i get paid 40 hours a week it's not this one-sided chip and the influence is this six of wands so this is leo energy by the six of wands and justice major arcana for libra yeah something's gonna go your way here where it didn't and again, maybe something was one-sided at work or in a relationship, there could have been lies. That six of pentacles can be that somebody was giving to somebody else and maybe not telling you the truth that they were they had their options open, but it could also just be there was a lack of balance in your relationship or in your love life. Too much time here, too much time there, and not enough focus on a relationship or even your love life if you're completely single, because you may have just a lot going on but there's victory coming. There's some sort of um, success and attention that you're gonna receive, and it's about justice, you know? That's finally balance is coming in. What's on your mind, Virgo, is this king of wands, daddy with a wand, yep, two of cups, there's a relationship. Some of you have already met this person. You've got this ace in the recent past. Doesn't have to be a fire sign. Maybe they have Leo Sag Aries in their chart, or they're just a go-getter, strong attraction, a strong spark that king of wands energy typically just goes for what they want you know where you stand and on your mind is a relationship a very strong soulmate type energy coming together and also that two of cups is two people who are offering emotion on the same level like you're seeing eye to eye you're both you both want to offer that emotion what happened here in the recent past, Virgo, you've got the Ace of Wands. By the way, that can be a contract too, through work or something that's coming in from that King of Wands. It would be somebody, um, you know, mature or somebody, you know, a little bit older. What's this Ace of Wands in the past? What do we got? The Three of Wands in reverse. Could have been connecting with somebody where it was just about passion. You know, there wasn't like a long-term commitment. That Ace of Wands is like, how you doing? And then it's kind of you know and then the three of cups i'm sorry the three of wands in reverse you turned your back on them they turned their back on you maybe there was other people that they were giving their energy and passion to a virgo outside of love this is just you feeling like ships aren't coming in so you turn your back and went to something new you had this new spark that you wanted to take action and there could have even even been some sort of creativity involved with that ace of wands it's all happening because of the hermit so you're in your element, Virgo, there you are, and the King of Cups. I'll tell you, if this is love, you've got some pretty mature energy coming in. It's showing us King. If you are a male Virgo, this is the energy that you're taking on. So this King of Cups is ready to fall in love, right? He's got a lot of love. He's done a lot of healing, a lot of soul searching. I think before this month's over, if it hasn't happened already, Virgo, you're taking that lantern and you're really looking in on someone here. It could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, typically Scorpio. This person could have um, water and fire in their chart. See what I did there? Water and fire. Yeah, I did it. I went there. But they know how to offer emotion. They're mature with their emotion. It's, again, because it's coming in as king energy, it is ready to offer that cup. But, the, you know, you're really going within. You're going to be really slow to kind of connect with this person or move forward. Why will you experience the strength coming into the near future? The strength card temperance in reverse. You might hold back on this person a little bit. Because maybe you feel a little wobbly. Maybe you had some sort of imbalance in the past. We know something went down here. Temperance is in reverse. Again, Sagittarius energy. I'm getting a ton of fire in this chart, in this reading. But with temperance in reverse, um, you know, also too, y'all, if you are thinking about somebody that you've had a difficult time with, you might be growing impatient because with the strength card that is overcoming obstacles coming in, it's taming yourself, it's holding back. 
sometimes the strength card can be somebody who feels as though they can tame you, like they have the upper hand. And you're really growing impatient with this energy. But I still feel a new, um, a newer connection coming, I'm telling you. Why do you see yourself as the Ace of Swords right now? So you might be just taking that sword and cutting through an energy. You have clarity on something. And it's the Yes card. It's a victory. And the Queen of Wands. You're bossing up. Aries energy. Can be anybody, but I'm just saying. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Swords here as Virgo sees themselves. And the Four of Wands. You know what you want, or you will, by the time, you know, August really kicks in. You're going to have that clarity. And with the Queen of Wands, this is starting to get your confidence back if you feel you don't have it. Others of you feel it. You know it. You're bossing up. You're attractive. You've got a King and a Queen of Wands showing here. So in the same reading, sometimes that can indicate there was a connection that was just about passion. But that's changing. Like there's a newer energy coming. With this Four of Wands, this is stability. This is, you know, oh, having a new beginning in love, feeling joy, feeling happiness within your home and within a relationship. This can be a new beginning in a relationship. So a commitment or moving towards something more serious even. What's in your environment that you don't see coming? Page of Cups, Pisces, Energy, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. What's this Page of Cups with the Knight of Cups in reverse? The Six of Wands. I, also, I don't feel like this is the newer energy. When I first saw that Page of Cups, I did. I thought that was a new love offer. I think that this is somebody who um, will message you or reach out at some point with like a little cup, a breadcrumb of emotion. Could even be an apology. But with the Knight of Cups in reverse, getting a lot of water there, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It's kind of fickle. That Knight of Cups in reverse, they give you the emotion and then they take it back, right? The Knights are travelers of the deck. They come, they go, they can play sometimes. Also to keep in mind, that Knight of Cups in reverse for me sometimes can indicate jealousy. So here they come, they want your attention and they also, Virgo, who, whomever this is, they know that you're receiving a lot of attention. You're coming across as very attractive and confident and I think you know that and it's exuding this beautiful, like confident, sexy energy and that's why we've got this newer energy here but you also have somebody in your environment who's like, whoa, wait a minute, what about me? You know, and you're just like, ugh, eye roll, right? Why is temperance here in your emotions? Sagittarius energy? What do we got? We have the devil in reverse. Yeah, Capricorn. You're healing and you're becoming more balanced in what you want. And so what you're doing is you're releasing. You don't feel the same way probably about a, a person. Maybe that person or relationship was bringing a lot of stuck energy, maybe even some toxicity. And so for me, when that devil comes out in reverse, it's like, no, no longer stuck. I'm no longer going to deal with you know, anything toxic. I don't feel the same way. I don't feel trapped to you. I don't feel that bond that I once did because I'm healing and I'm becoming more balanced and I'm very, I'm, I'm very patiently waiting for a more mature energy that can provide some sort of stability and long-term relationship. And you've, you've got it here. It's like all manifesting. All right, what's in the outcome? You've got the Five of Cups in reverse. Um, I think you're going to meet somebody in August, y'all. I'm telling you, it could even be two people. And then you've got somebody who is still communicating that they're just in and out, though. They're not reliable, but they're coming because they're jealous. What's this Five of Cups in reverse? Why is this the outcome? And the lovers, beautiful. Gemini energy, yep. See, you're, what's going to happen, what you're going to find towards the end of August, if you haven't already... With that five of cups in reverse, it's like, I don't need to dwell on the past. I don't need to cry over what I've lost. Look at all this attention I'm getting. Look at all this potential. You know, you're going to feel pretty good. If you don't now, you will throughout August. That lovers also could be you have a choice or a decision to make, you know, between a couple people. And I do see at least two different energies here, if not three. So what's this lovers? Why is the lovers here? Choices and decisions. And the Queen of Cups. Some of you have water in your chart. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. 
Um, the Queen of Cups often, she'll keep her cup closed until she's no, she knows for sure that her intuition's on point. Remember, we have the Hermit here in the foundation. So you're like really trying to figure these people out. What do I want moving forward? I'll tell you right now to go towards the new. That's what I'm seeing in the cards. That's what I'm feeling with my Queen of Cups intuition. But she's, you know, even when she's in the upright, she's kind of, she can be a little emotional. She's got her journal. She's making her pros and cons. <laughs> You know, and she's got her cup there. She's got a lot of beautiful energy and a, a lot of emotion and love to offer, but only when she's sure. I really feel like the Queen of Cups in this deck is writing, like she's journaling or she's writing in her, you know, the pros and cons. And that's when she'll offer that love because she's super intuitive. And remember, here we go, the Hermit. And I think there's a King of Cups that you're really specifically going to be uh, looking at. Tell me more about the Hermit for Virgo in the foundation and the Empress in reverse. Major for Libra or Taurus. Some of you are, um, I think most of you really are go kind of going in and trying to figure out how you want to move forward in August because you're going to have several options. I think you've also, um, there is somebody here that you are withdrawing. You've withdrawn or you will throughout August because you don't want to feed the connection anymore. It could be because of this King of Cups type energy surrounding you or coming in. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. I would say that you guys are no longer feeding the connection or you don't feel the abundance or the love. It's kind of ill energy. It could be with this King of Cups, but King of Cups is in the upright. I feel like this is would be the newer energy along with maybe that King of Wands. It could be a mixture. And it's because you've kind of pulled away from another energy where you just don't see growth. You don't see that beautiful, abundant energy that the Empress provides. It's in reverse. So there's definitely somebody you're pulling away from here. And then there's somebody else that you're going to really go within and um, figure this out. Why is the Two of Cups on your mind, Virgo? What's this Two of Cups with that King of Wands? A relationship, the moon. See, there's your intuition. King of, that King of Wands is in the upright too. I don't know. I guess I, he could. this person could be in a relationship and kept it from you. They may have even kept your connection a secret with that moon energy. But I, I'm getting, that's for some of you, but I'm getting more on your mind, Virgo, is somebody, there's going to be a strong attraction. There's like this pull towards this person. That King of Wands is very confident. Now, being that we do have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands in the same reading, that could be the connection that was just about passion. And, you know, you, maybe you wanted a relationship with them, but you definitely want a relationship and it's here, it's in your environment. But maybe that King of Wands did keep secrets, you know, maybe it was just about passion or they did this to you. Regardless, it's like old energy. You're starting to kind of, you're getting over this. And what it's doing is it's opening things up for you to really go within and decide to stop feeding one of these connections and move towards something new. Remember, we have a couple aces here. It's a beautiful month, really, Virgo. You're strong, you're healed, or you're in the process. And you really do, you really are cutting, you're taking that ace of swords and you're cutting through the things you don't want because you're, you're getting super confident. All right, Virgo, if you guys want to learn tarot, I actually put the description below. You can go over to Vimeo and purchase the uh, tarot series I've started. I've only uploaded three videos so far, but you can pick and choose, and I will be adding to those every week. I think it's a cool deal. You can kind of learn tarot on your own time. If you like the way I read, you might enjoy it. So check that out. Other than that, you guys, I love you hard. Love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care. Thank <music> you.